<clears throat> all right guys uh, I'm gonna replace something else something on the back of the RV something that has annoyed me since we bought it um, if you see the these lights hopefully it comes across well on the uh, on camera here they are they're faded and they don't look great um, kind of hate them and they're incandescent bulbs so for 2018 it's kind of um, shocking that they didn't start putting full LED bulbs in here but um, they did and uh, I'll show you a side-by-side -side, um, of them flashing uh, this one and then I'll, I'll replace it and show it again really in the same spot and uh, you can kind of see the look of the old and the new uh, one I'm done here and then but what I'm going to show you is the new ones these these cost uh, 80 bucks on Amazon and they look freaking awesome so um, I'm going to go ahead and, and switch these out. Um, it's pretty easy. Just a handful of wires. I'm going to use um, some closed end connectors. Um, and it shouldn't take me very long at all. I'll go ahead and, uh, and set up and record that. And if there's any pointers, uh, I'll show you. Otherwise, it's just uh, six screws. Um, there's a couple of screws here. I don't think I need to take those out for the backup. And then it's going to pull right out. I'll have access to, um, to the wires. I'll be able to put the connectors on and we should be off to the races so i'll do that and then uh we'll see how they look all right guys so i've got the, i've got this first light dropped off here these screws suck they're they're rusty you can see we have gotten a, a tiny bit of water damage in behind here um and this this foam backing sucks but Obviously the wiring here, obviously going to the left and right, you've got um, white, which is ground. So you've got a common white ground across the, uh, all three. So both sides, plus the backup light. The red is gonna be uh, your reverse or backup light. And then uh, you've got green and black, which are your uh, low and your high. Well, low is gonna be just your regular uh, brake light, and then you're gonna have turn signal there. So we know these are wired together. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, cut those and wire those but um, obviously it's a little bit different here um, you do have a green a brown black white so um, we'll wire some of these together because then you also have the wiring diagram is actually uh, molded into the plastic on the back which is kind of good so obviously the white is ground green is high mode brown is low mode yellow high mode black low mode and then blue is uh, backup so we will um, go ahead and, and wire these in um, and then this this foam has also a sticky backing so I think it's going to be a little bit better for us um, to uh, prevent that that water damage from getting any worse and I'll clean it up uh, here with some uh, with some spray all right now I showed the wires on these this does have two sets of wires coming in and out so it does have um, Again, like we showed you, the green, green and black, green and black. Um, that's just regular brake and turn signal for this single side. So on the back of these, of these, it's going to say ground, high, low. Uh, so you just take um, the green and brown and run into the green and black on one side. And then you're going to take the yellow and black. And the yellow is going to go to one of the other greens and black. And, and really, it's just for which side of this uh, comes on and off so so this could you could potentially wire this thing if you needed it i think you can order just one of these for half the price you could wire it as just one i guess one light in the middle and it would turn either the left side or the right side would go depending on which one you turn on so i'll finish wiring this up we'll screw it on here and then uh we'll see yeah the this backer does seem a little bit better uh the whole back side was sticky so it stuck on there pretty well um with uh, the self-adhesive and then I think it'll be better at uh, preventing that that uh, water damage so I'll go ahead and uh, finish this wiring up and uh, go to the other side and then we'll give a side-by-side uh, -side comparison before I connect this I want to just go ahead and show you my connections so uh, red blue this is back up uh, green to green brown to black and then we've got um, black to black uh, yellow goes to this other green here and then I took so this had three ground wires coming in one for each of the sides of these incandescent bulbs I did go ahead and do two of the ground wires from the chassis 
uh, to this one just to make sure we got enough ground. So this other ground, not gonna be a big deal. We'll tuck it back away, uh, won't even worry about it. So I'm gonna put these wires back in here, screw it in. And then before I go to the other side, I'm gonna show the uh, side by side, you know, of the, of the brakes and the flashers. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at how that looks with the, the new one and the incandescent one. All right, so here is the old. So the old incandescent, we've got the flashers on, uh, hazards on inside. Um, this is what the old incandescents look like. And now we have, yeah, these new LEDs, which are just gonna pop from the back. Uh, so they're gonna look great. I think they're definitely brighter. Um, yeah, I think there's a, there's a huge difference. I'll go ahead and do the other side and then uh, wrap this project up. All right, guys, one last thing on these lights. I do really like them. Um, yeah, you do have to be careful on the screws, obviously not to over tighten them, probably uh, pretty self-evident. On both of these, this bottom screw, this bottom center screw, um, stripped out. So I don't know, um, you know, it spins, it's, it's, it's in there, it's not gonna come out, it's, it's kind of tight, not, but not, not the threads aren't tight, so um, both sides. Um, but uh, it's, it's not bad besides that. Um, the rest of it is in uh, you know pretty good shape and, and for a 2018 you know i'm surprised it, with tightening these down there is some pliability so you are able to get a little bit of tight you know you don't have to be you know super afraid they're going to break they're not they're not they're not brittle by any means but the old ones were already really brittle and the rubber behind them was already falling apart so yeah i think we're gonna we're good to go on this one um it's weird because the the the, the word the uh decal here is upside down but in the back the um the directions the wiring is, is is right side up so that's how i put it i put it right side up looks like the other side's that way as well i there's there's no difference it's uh you know very symmetrical so i don't think it's going to be a big deal um but you know if it is i can easily take it off and flip it um in in a matter of seconds so yeah they look good we're going to go with it if um if we need any, uh, if there's any updates on it, um, we'll definitely let you know. But again, yeah, the um, the screws did line up perfectly. So the screw holes with these lights lined up perfectly with the screw holes of the old lights. So they did line up really well, um, and I'm glad they weren't too bad because these uh, these new stainless steel screws went in really well. So um, yeah, it went well, and these look good. And uh, yeah, I think they're gonna be great going down the road.